I'd like to ask you to take a look at any place you've got a limitation and ask yourself, when did I decide to accept that limitation? And you may not even see it as a limitation. You might see it as just, that's who I am. But so often in our lives, we've adapted to be a certain way so that we don't fail or so that people will like us or respect us, but it's not necessarily who we are. Joy comes when you're spontaneous. It's really hard to be truly happy when you're not being yourself. And most of us have no clue who we are. And so a big part of my work is to get people to do things spontaneously without thinking, because that's when the real you shows up. That's when the energy comes alive. And when you do that, when you start to connect to your true nature, suddenly there's energy available for you to set a higher standard for what you want in your life. Think about your own life. I know there have been areas in your life where some point in time you just shifted and you raised the standard and your life changed. Changing your life is a change in the inner game. The outside world you can't control, but you have absolute control over this one if you learn the dynamics of what shapes you. And identity is one of those simple, clear, fundamental basics that if you start, start to shift it, everything else will shift in your life as well. I'm just simply saying to you, take those three magic words and live them. Raise your standard. And if you really want to do it, then I'll tell you the most important secret. Have you ever done this? Have you ever told yourself you're raising your standard? Okay, I'm gonna go make this happen. I'm gonna go make this much money. I'm gonna transform my kids. I'm gonna create the ultimate relationship in my life. I'm gonna transform my body, whatever it is. And then you don't have strong enough reasons and you don't lose, use it. You don't follow through. It's because you didn't back up your standards with what makes those standards real, and that's rituals. Rituals are where the power is. Little things you do each day that after you do them, you get so much momentum that it's easy to succeed. You're not overwhelmed. You have these victory day after day after day on little things where you literally just condition your body and emotion with a couple little rituals. So it doesn't matter what's going on in your world. You feel that strength and it's not fake. It's not some pump up. It's coming from inside you and it works. Rituals define us. See, all the results in your life are coming from your rituals. They start with a standard and then have rituals that follow it up. Like for example, if you are where you want to be physically, you have very different rituals than if you're not where you want to be physically. If you're overweight, you and I both know you got a different ritual than if you're physically fit. Completely different. You get up in the morning, what's the first thing you do if you're fit? Your shoes are there, you roll over, doesn't matter how you feel, you put on your shoes, you lace them, you start walking or whatever that ritual is. If you're overweight, you roll over and you have a very different ritual. You might roll over several times to turn the alarm clock off. You go in and get your mocha, smoka, whatever, you know, special coffee. You stop by at Starbucks, whatever the case may be. You have your nice sugar muffin, you know, that's supposed to be really nice for you. Whatever you do, it's a different ritual. If you have a great, passionate relationship, you have very different rituals in how you come home than if you have a lousy relationship. When you come home and the first thing you do is you're tweeting somebody or you're emailing or flipping on the news or you don't even come home, and what are the rituals? Whenever I study people that are successful, what I look for is what's the standard they hold themselves to? And then what are all those little rituals that up? Because think about it. Success and failure are not giant events. They don't just show up. You don't just suddenly become successful or suddenly have this cataclysmic event that makes you fail. It may look that way, but failure comes from all the little things. It's failure to make the call. It's failure to check the books. It's failure to say, I'm sorry. It's failure to push yourself to do things physically that you don't want to do. And all those little failures day after day come together until one day some cataclysmic event happens and you blame that. That event happened because you missed all the little stuff. Do you agree with me? And success, by the way, is not some overnight event. It's all these little things. Success is having a vision. Success is making it compelling. Success is really seeing it and feeling it every day with strong enough reasons. Success is feeling the sense that I'm here to grow and I'm here to give something to the world more than just myself. Success is caring about other people. Success is calling and saying I love you in the middle of the day for no damn reason or sending a note. That'll change your relationship. Have a ritual of something funny, playful or a surprise you do. How many relationships are dead today because they have no surprise rituals anymore? You need to have some rituals, some cool things you do that nobody else does that gives you a better life than anybody else has. All the little stuff, that's where success comes from. In business, it comes from delivering more than anybody could imagine. All those little things add up, people go, wow, that's who I want to do business with. It's true in any area of your life.